G'day guys, Baylormage here. This is the end of my day one. We've been streaming for 19 and a half hours. I think we did about two hours of that before the league launched. So this is where we got up to. We basically got up to Blood Aqueducts farming. We made it halfway through leveling and died. This is our return to hardcore. So we're a little bit behind where I'd like to be, which would have been more around tier two or tier three maps. You can see Essence Rain Contagion's coming along quite well. I'm already in the Eldritch Battery. We've made some small changes to the build along the way. The main, or really the only change we've made so far, is I am using Arctic Armor and Flesh and Stone. So forgive me if I'm a little tired and out of it. It's been a long day. We're gonna get some sleep in a minute, but Flesh and Stone in Sand Stance is insanely powerful. I did not realize how strong this would be. So it is blinding anyone that comes near me. So anyone in melee range is instantly blinded. Blind is a very, very strong mechanic. Really, really good, especially if you're an evasion or a dodge style character. But even if you're not, still very, very powerful. And then the second half of that is you take 10% less damage from enemies that aren't nearby while in stance, sand stance. So that's just a straight up 10% less damage taken. And that's insanely good. And I could not get past it. Uh, I just, it just, it happened today on the fly. So we have dropped zealotry. We've kept malevolence and we've picked up Arctic armor and uh, blood and sand blood and sand that's what it was called right no flesh and stone when i get blood and stand that must be the 10 percent one flesh and stone and arctic armor uh so those are the main changes however because i'm in hardcore i'm thinking about changing the way i personally go with this now that doesn't necessarily mean that i would change the build guide the way I have it set up is very, very budget friendly and the tankiest thing I could come up with for a absolute no budget build. Um, so I would probably be more inclined to leave the build guide the way it is other than changing these two auras over. However, I'm tempted to personally go hybrid, uh, mostly because of I'll show you the two things that I've been looking at since I started today. One of them is this shield that I am convinced will be more than an exalt, where'd I put it? Will be more than an exalt within a day or two. Um, that uh, gives me 1% area of effect per enemy killed recently up to 50%. Zealous Oath if you haven't been hit recently. Life, energy shield, spell damage, it's insane. Uh, I'm definitely, I bought it for 8 Chaos in Hardcore. I'm positive it's going to be more than an Exalt in Hardcore. I do not know what the Softcore market looks like. But if these are cheap enough and you're interested in following me into a hybrid more uh, area, more clear speed style, I will probably be going into into this tomorrow. Um that that's probably going to mean that i'm going to change my ascendancies up and probably not to take prolonged pain probably take escape artist maybe drop this portion of the tree here and pick up a little bit of life and energy shield somewhere else and 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 drop eldritch battery that's that's absolutely not something i'm going to suggest that brand brand new players follow me with it's going to get a little bit more gear dependent and a little bit more complicated um certainly if you're a semi-experienced player and you've been following along with this it'll be a good move i think but i'm definitely going to test it and play around um plenty of people have been asking if i'm going to update the build guide when i make changes and whatnot and the answer is no not in the next few days at least there's plenty of testing and experimenting that i want to do and when it comes down to what i'm absolutely sure i'm happy with in four or five days time i may rewrite portions of it and if i do i will put them in the change log and i'll put a big note at the top of the google doc and stuff like that so for now not as far as i want not as rich as i'd like uh 
Legion is fantastic. Um, so far, I've really, really enjoyed it. If anyone is leveling through Axe and whatnot still behind me, please start doing Legion content if you've been skipping it. It is fantastic. It shits out uniques and currency. It will just cover you in it. It's very, it becomes very easy to get more geared and more money and more everything. It's really, really, really fun. ED Contagion just melts everything and unlocks everything. Really, really powerful. So start engaging with it. If you've been skipping it, start engaging with it. Start engaging with it from the moment you start using Essence Drain Contagion. So as early as Act three or four is when i felt it started to feel really good the moment i had intensify and ink aoe it was fantastic but when i only had one of them it was still pretty good so as soon as you feel comfortable starting to use that you should really be hitting every legion mob when you see them super super fun uh you might notice i have frost clink on right now i'm doing that purely because it's new and shiny and i like using it it i don't actually think it's worth having flame dash is better in in every way which is unfortunate because i really really like the look and feel of frost blink so i'm just using it to be stubborn um i i will end up dropping it before i get to maps so yeah um that's pretty much it for today a little bit sad that i died on day one i was hoping my return to hardcore would get me into maps on day one but here we are i'm gonna go to sleep for six to eight hours after this video goes up and uh then we'll go live again and we'll go again and hopefully we'll push into maps and not die so yeah i'm Baylor Mage, and i will see you later